I don't know what happened. You are a number of speakers. So take maximum five minutes. Sir, it is because of me. It is because of me. This discussion is taking place. How can you restrict me for five minutes? This is only because of me. This house is sitting here. Sir, on the other day, Jairam Ramesh ji has said that the central hall is abutted with the rumors that it will be turned into finance bill. And sir, and it became true. Now the central now the central hall is abutted with the with the rumors that I am going to withdraw this bill, sir. I want to make it very clearly clarify. I am not going to withdraw my private member's bill under any circumstances. Sir, I want it from the chair to know what the... When is my private member's bill is coming for discussion? Either is it on tomorrow 29th or on 5th of I'll August? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Very important. No, this I want, I want because... After, uh, the moment you finish, I'll tell you. Uh, because uh, I, I, I have to go to the hospital. I will okay, I'll, I'll tell decide you. on that. Uh, okay, I'll tell you. Once Sir. I finish, I'll tell you. Sir. Sir. Hey, let me speak in English. Let me also understand. Sir. <laughs> let me also understand. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Here. First, let me. Let me say, I got a great respect and I got a high, very high opinion about our present finance minister and leader of the house till few days back. <coughs> Sir, I have submitted a private member's bill more than a year back. It came back with President's assent and it was debated twice. And the Honorable Minister has replied for that. And again, it was uh, stalled because of uh, the house was foreclosed. Now, after one year, after wasting all the time of the Rajya Sabha, after wasting hours of time, after wasting everybody's holiday going on a Friday evening, now he decides it's a financial bill. Sir, if this is allowed, all bills which are going to come to Rajya Sabha are going to be turned as finance bill. And also, there is a ruling that every, any member has got a chance to counter it. If any finance bill, bill comes, you have said any member has got a chance to find it out and turn it down. So, sir, please see the danger. It may it may affect the entire system of the Rajya Sabha and the democracy. Sir, Dharma Rakshati Rakshitaha. Dharma protects those who protect it. This is the most ancient foundation of our culture, custom and character. Unless we protect the constitution and the law, Constitution and law will not protect. But tell him to me. I demand only those points which were proposed by the then government and which were vehemently supported by then the opposition and, the, and which, is now, which is now the present government in the same house on 20th February 2014 when reorganization bill was declared fresh in my memory and resounding in my ears. Why they must be frustrated? When you were members spoke, I never objected. No, no, please. Have some decency. No, 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 no. You are the minister. Don't be emotional. Don't be, don't be. No, you are address a chair. Don't be emotional. Address a chair. Arey chodo. Address a chair. You continue to speak. You ignore. Continue to speak. Why they must be? Why, sir? They must be even fresh in your mind and your memory. Because you were there on the chair on the day. Yeah. Sir, now the ruling you now the then ruling UPI has become a position 
and the opposition and the NDA came to ruling. This is quite natural phenomena in democracy, and we all are abided by that. But the most unnatural thing happening is totally throwing away the act and the assurances made by the then Prime Minister Sri Manmohan Singh Ji into dustbin. Sir, if an assurance given by the PM and supported by the opposition on the floor of the House is not binding on the successive government, what is going to happen to this great nation and its parliamentary system of governance? Sir, let us not give an impression to the people of this great country that debates in this parliament, passing of bills, making enactments, rules, procedures, all, all are bogus. There is no second opinion that in the bargain of the division of Andhra Pradesh, Simandra region lost heavily. I am not asking anything more. I am just asking to give us what you promised. You means the BJP, which has, was in the opposition on the day and now in ruling. You just give us what you promised. You just give us what the then Priyam promised and in the process was repeatedly interrupted by you. You said what Manmohan Singh is promising is not enough and we will double it after a few months after the elections, after coming to power. The elections are okay. over. You came to power and more than two years passed. If you ignore your promises, no doubt that the state of AP okay. will have to suffer. All right. But the bigger danger, the bigger danger is that the people of this country will doubt the propriety of an elected democratic government in the coming days. The very foundation of the constitution itself will be in danger. We are elders and this house is supposed to be the highest body in the constitution. Don't search for loopholes and excuses. Don't try to find out technicalities and legalities. Special categories okay, now status for 10 years. You have a promise. Please. All promises made by Pro Dr. Manmohan Singh on the floor of the house are supported by you. No. The entire act and its provisions are equally owned by you, apart from UPA. This bill is so too important okay. to all of them. Now please, Special category please status. All promises made by Dr. Manmohan Singh okay. and all provisions incorporated all in right, the act. All right, all right, now sir, please. Uh, half minute, half minute. Honorable sir, my humble opinion is, please rise to the occasion. My humble appeal to the government yeah, to you. Please, yeah. please rise to the occasion. Yes. Give us what you promised. Give us what we are entitled for. Yes. Constitutionally, legally, morally and ethically. Okay to safeguard the interests of the property of our great parliament, our okay. great constitution. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Now, see, now, Mr. Rao, I want to make it clear, your private members bill will be taken up on the day, meant for the private members bill, that is perhaps August uh, 5th, and will be disposed of as per constitution and the rules of the... How, no, how, can, how can I say bill will be passed? How can I... How can I... No, I cannot say... That. No, I, I see, bill, I said bill will be taken up and disposed of as per constitution and the rules of the house. Rules of the house. So I cannot say more than that. So I don't know the bill will be passed or will not be passed. I cannot predict anything, but I can assure you one thing. Bill will be taken up on August 9th. That, that sir, I can assure you. Sir, sir. Now, and furthermore, the bill can be withdrawn with the consent of the house only. It is already the property of the house. So, there should not be any doubt on that, I can tell you. But I would repeat, as per the approach of the constitution and, and the rules, the bill will be disposed of. Next, sir, next. Sir, sir, sir. No, sir, no. sir, oh, sir, how many, sir? Sir, okay, yeah. for your ready reference, 20th debate, 
I'm the gadget. I was in the chair. I know. I'm the gadget. I know. I was in the chair. Sir. Uh, and, and, the, uh, and the special category status no, 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 yeah, yeah, by the cabinet and uh, sir the Bharti Janta Party the Bharti Janta Party the Bharti Dear Raja I know all this Dear Raja Raja ji only 5 minutes Yes sir yeah, okay. uh, Thank you sir yeah. My party the CPI supported uh, the bifurcation of the state, sir. No, please proceed, proceed, proceed. What? Get up, Amma. You please get up and talk. Pardon? Point of order. How did he get the copy of the minutes if he wants to Which show minutes? it? He Which said minutes? something of that line. Can you please give us a clarification? Hold of that. How did he get hold of what that? What minutes? What minutes? I heard it as cabinet uh, meeting minutes. Can you please explain? Will you please explain? How did he get hold of that? I am sure something is wrong. Please check it out. Yes. CWD. What did he say? I, what did you say? I didn't hear that. CWC minutes. CWC minutes. Let him say. Uh. C minutes. CWC minutes. CWC. That is Congress Working Committee minutes. That is what he said. What is it, the minutes? No, in any case. PK. Yeah, Raja. Raja, please. No, TK. All right. That's it. I'm... <laughs> Sir, order in the All house. Right. No, please. The house. Yeah, yeah, please. No, no. He, you know, if it... Is, no, I'll tell you. If it is a... See. If it is a secret document, he can... See. No, please. No, I'll tell you. Please. No, Minister. Minister, please. Minister, don't get angry. If it is a secret document, he can only quote from it with the permission, previous permission of the chair, which I have not given. So he can quote from that, even if it is secret. Ah, uh, then not problem. Okay, then Sri D. Raja now. Sir, now yeah. time. Ah, okay, now starts the time. Ah. Now starts the time. Sir, thank you, sir. When the bifurcation of the then Andhra Pradesh took place, our party supported the bifurcation. That way our commitment is to both the states, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Sir, when the bifurcation took place, members were so agitated, we could see how our honorable colleague Ramachandra Rao, this side, our colleague Ramesh Chaudhary, they all uh, were agitating. And we witnessed all these issues. Sir, when uh, I supported the bifurcation, I said both the states should uh, separate as brothers, separate and set up their own houses. And both the states should prosper in their own ways. This is what I spoke. Now, now, the issue is we are discussing the Andhra Pradesh reorganization Are, unko char minute, kaise minute? Act 2014. That is what, that is what, status of implementation. It means uh, not only one state, but both the states, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Now I first come to Andhra Pradesh. Sir, when the bifurcation was decided by the parliament, there were promises, assurances given by the then prime minister. Parties may change. Mr. Vengayaga Naidu was sitting this side. I could see him getting up and speaking. So parties may change. One party may be in power today, tomorrow some other party may be in power. But government is a continuing one. 
whether the government as an institution government as our government will honor the assurances given by the then prime minister that is the issue the previous government the exactly the leader of the house mr arun jetli should answer this question when government is a continuing one is the government going to honor the assurances promises given by the previous government the previous the then prime minister that is the issue they will have to answer why i am asking this question there are ambiguous statements coming from government sources the government sources are making repeated statements saying after the 14th finance commission no special status can be given to any state what is the position of the government i would like to know from the government leader of the house is not there senior minister vankaya gar is sitting there i am asking what is the stand of the government are you sticking to the position that the special status to andhra pradesh will be given or not because you are making ambiguous statement after 14th finance commission that cannot be done but i am asking you okay. what is the sir sir let me what is the position of the government if you ask me you will have to honor the assurances promises given by mr manmohan singh the then prime minister okay you will have to fulfill that commitment given by the government to the people of andhra pradesh okay okay having said that coming to telangana oh it's always you gave minutes. promise to telangana for tax incentives what happened to that promise giving tax incentives to the state of telangana okay sir both andhra and telangana yeah. are our states and india is one nation and bjp so. believes in one nation more than okay. anybody else all right and if that is so how do you treat andhra pradesh how do you treat telangana do you stand by the commitment given yes. by the government you ask them to stand and that is what i am asking okay huh? now you sit now you sit sir he is saying raja now you now you face the now and honor the raja ji raja government will stand you please sit so he is saying yeah. sir government now, is run away <laughs> sir sri digvijay singh digvijay singh ji 5 minutes sir 5 minutes less than that sir yeah. thank you very much sir thank you thank you sir i have a few questions to honorable eh? leader of the house pardon pardon congress i my mem i go by the rule I am. There is an order to take. What do I do? No, I can only go by the order. See, you see, if you, if I tell you, if that is your position, TDP had four minutes. It's already over. So don't, 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 don't bring these things. Yeah, be careful. I see. I am not violating any rule. You know, after D Raja. I, you have to know. You should know these things. The point is, you don't understand. After D Raja, it is the Congress to start, and, and then Congress, then other parties, like that, like that, it will go. No, that's what I am saying. If you if you adhere to rules, TDP will have no time. So don't raise such things unnecessarily. Now, please, sorry. Thank you, your uh, deputy chairman, sir. Sir, I have a few questions to the leader of opposition. Oh, sorry, leader of the house. So, sir, sir, leader of the house. Sorry, sir. Uh, leader of the house. Leader of the house. Uh, in his absence, maybe. But honourable Venkai Naidu is also not not here. I think. Oh, oh, uh, the. Yeah. Okay, I can and I will. My question to the government is, I would refer to the assurances. made by the then prime minister dr manmohan singh ji on 20th february 2014 of which my colleague jairam ramesh has already mentioned is it not income is it not binding on the government that the assurance made by the honorable the then prime minister dr manmohan singh on the present government particularly of a special category status 
as he mentioned in point number one. This is my question number one. Question number two. Sir, no cabinet minister. Yeah. Please get one my, cabinet minister. My, or otherwise, Nakuiji should be elevated to cabinet. One of these should be done. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Sir, not possible. There are people from Mandra here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, let the house do it, sir. Yeah, we can. We we yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah. So now the minister comes. He doesn't want like with you to be elevated. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sir, my so, second. Yes. yes. You yes, say yes, that. You yes, say yes, that. Yes, no yes, problem. For that also. No, no problem. Yes, sir, yeah. you must tell uh, Mr. Venkat Naidu Garu, the conspiracy we were all weaving. <laughs> yeah. In your absence, sir, yeah, yeah. we thought we will elevate Mr. Nakhil yeah, to yeah. cabinet minister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem. No. no problem. If you are not doing, we were trying to do we it. Have, we, have, we have already given him independent charge. <laughs> he has got a bright future. Yeah, exactly. ah. We okay. encourage such people. Though, though none of the people have given ticket to our own 57 MPs, not even one minority, we gave two people minority <laughs> for the last summer. <laughs> sir. Okay, now the good action. Sir, uh, it should go back okay. one minute. Sir. All right. Sir, my second yes, question to the government is, whether is it a fact that on the 1st March 2014, the cabinet also took a decision to this effect? Now, Honorable Venkai Naiduji is here, just reminding him, although we know, sir, the whole BJP is on Jumla politics. This is, you should ask Mr. Amit Shah what he means by Jumla. And also, the then, I would say, the candidate, the Prime Minister candidate of the BJP in his speech in Andhra Pradesh also made a statement that I will give you more than what you have asked for and a special category status, not for five years, but for 10 years. Special tax incentives will be given by the government, which I'm going to lead. Honorable Venkai Naidu ji also, I would like to sort of put it on record what he said. Sir, he said, the special category status we wanted for 10 years. Sir, I would like to ask Venkai Naiduji to please respond to this. Did he really mean it? Will he stand by it? Or will he be pressurized by Prime Minister to give away the assurances that he had made to the House? Sir, I would also like to point out to, to, uh, to the government, let them not equate the special category status for Andhra Pradesh with other, other states. Let them not hide under the pretext that it has to be comparative. There's a special case for Andhra Pradesh. Because of the historical reasons, most of the development took place in Hyderabad and around. And therefore, there is a fiscal imbalance in the situation, uh, in the bifurcation of the state, for which a special attention has to be given to the state of Andhra Pradesh through special category and through tax incentives, which was promised by the then Prime Minister. Therefore, sir, I would request and urge upon the government that they should be serious about these commitments made by the then Prime Minister. They should be serious about implementation on the provisions of the Act, as mentioned by Jairam Ramesh. It is an emotional issue. We have got the greatest regard for the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. But I don't know why he's feeling shy to fight for the cause of the state of Andhra Pradesh. Why is he not pressurizing? Why is he not pressurizing the Prime Minister? Why is he not pressurizing the Prime Minister? Sir, so, let, so, I'm not... Letting complete. I'll allow you. I'll, no, no let, you spoke. Sit down. So no. why is he not pressurizing the Prime Minister to implement the provisions of the Act itself? Why is he not pressurizing the Prime Minister to fulfill the commitment made by the then Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji? Are there some, any other reason or it is political convenience? 
these are the issues which I would like to raise, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Sri Anupam Mohanty. My God. Then, oh, it's guys. Yes. Anupam Mohanty. Your time is five minutes, sir. Please. I'll speak, sir. Conclude in five minutes. Everybody's time is five minutes only. Nobody is. Sir, uh, please consider a few more minutes. No, Thank no, you, sir. In five minutes, you have to say. Sir, I'll try. I'll try my best, sir. So the first linguistic state which was formed in India was in 1936. And it was Odisha that was carved out of Bihar and Sindh that was carved out of Punjab. This was during, uh, the, this was pre-independent India. After independence, linguistic states were also formed. Gujarat and Karnataka came into existence. Maharashtra took all the Marathi speaking people together taking erstwhile Bombay province, Vidarbha and part of erstwhile Hyderabad state. The Telugu speaking people, after a lot of struggle, a lot of sacrifices, they got Andhra Pradesh. It's not that linguistic states have not divided themselves after that, as it happened in the case of Andhra Pradesh. Uttarakhand was carved out of Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand from Bihar, Chhattisgarh from Madhya Pradesh came into existence without much strife. But, sir, in case of Andhra Pradesh division, I don't know why, but it was handled very, very shabbily by the previous <laughs> government. Even today, even today, judges are coming on the streets on a demand to divide the High Court of Andhra Pradesh and setting up a separate High Court for Telangana. Sir, this was never heard earlier. And this shows, this shows the gravity of the situation. Similarly, in the case of Andhra Pradesh, the need to construct a new capital, they are short of revenue and are not in a position to meet the aspirations of their people. Sir, I and my party, Biju Janta Dal, we have full sympathy with the people of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you. They are sturdy, energetic, hmm? of course with Telangana too. You both are sturdy, energetic and with God's grace, you both will also tide over this prevalent situation. So, but there are many other states in our country who suffer from the similar situations, similar problems. So, the government must support those states also of India. Niti Aayog is supposed to provide the formula by which support can be extended to all economically weaker states. Sir, as far as my knowledge goes, the four criteria that a state needs to qualify to get special category status are as follows, please correct me if I am wrong anywhere. Number one, if the per capita income of the state in comparison to the per capita income of the nation is lower. Number two, if ST and SC population is higher in the state. Number three, if large portion of the state is of hilly terrain. And number four, if the border of the state connects to any international border. So keeping these four criteria, the northeastern states Three Himalayan states and Jammu and Kashmir were provided with a special category status which has been done away with after the 14th Com Finance Commission's recommendations being ac accepted by this government which had stated that it has outlived its utility. Therefore, number of packages are now being suggested by Niti Aayog and accordingly packages are being announced for Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and even UP. So a small uh, support of uh, package has also gone to West Bengal Sir, but I wonder, when I see the Indian map, the geographical Indian map, sir, I find between West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh, how can the government ignore Odisha? We come in between West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. We have been clearly ignored. It's quite clear. Sir, the per capita income of my state, Odisha, is lesser than the per capita income of the nation. The, the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, but the percentage is very high in Odisha. So large parts of it, are of hilly terrain and inaccessible areas. So the only criteria that Odisha doesn't fulfill is that we don't connect to any international border. And so is with Andhra Pradesh. Sir, I wonder why, sir, also, if uh, you uh, find out their per capita income in comparison to national per capita income, it needs to be checked out, all because I don't know very clearly. SCST population is certainly not 40% in Andhra Pradesh, yet, the previous government in Shrin in the bill relating to Andhra Pradesh reconstruction mentioned about providing special category status to Andhra Pradesh. Sir, I have a report. 
So this is the report of the 16th of this 16th Lok Sabha, headed by Shri Shanta Kumarji, a veteran BJP leader, which says, "Quote, sir, uh, this is a, a report on uh, Parliamentary Standing Committee on Commerce. Quote, sir, the committee recommends that special category status be extended to industrially backward states like Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand. Unquote, sir. Sir." I intentionally went through this book, through this report, and uh, I don't know why I didn't find Andhra Pradesh name in this book, in this report, but still uh, I'm happy and we support that yes, Andhra Pradesh should be given good special status category. Sir, finally I'll answer. Sir, Odisha government under the leadership of our most favorite Chief Minister Sri Naveen Patnaik ji, since many years we have been fighting and demanding our right to get special category status for Odisha. Sir, because geographically, Odisha is the only state in India which, uh, which faces natural calamities in every alternative year, which hampers, which kills the state's financial condition. So, which is why we have been demanding this since years. Sir, this government has never heard of our story. That's why today, Odisha has no roots, roots, nothing. They are thrown out from Odisha people's heart. I demand, sir, in 2014, BJP said to their election manifesto, they promised the people of Odisha, कि जब और अगर ये सरकार में आ जाए तो ये ओडिशा को स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेटस देंगे बट इन दो सालों में नहीं नहीं मैं बोल सरकार केंद्र में आई है ओडिशा में तब तक नहीं आएगी जब तक ओडिशा को ऑनर नहीं करेंगे ओके सर अच्छे अच्छे सर दो साल हो गए पर दो साल में हमारी मांग को दो दो बार ठुकराया गया रिजेक्� but uh, I like now to conclude. Sir, I, one more minute, sir. One more minute only, sir. Finally, sir. Sir, because it's uh, emotionally connected to Odisha and Odisha is a part of the nation. Sir, uh, when we were talking about. Uh, no, no, you. Ma sir, make but, your demand. Yes, sir, I'll, I'll make a demand. Sir, in, in the private members' bill which he has, I don't know whether. Sir, I'm not that aware. Ki se kya sab hota hai, but still, there's in uh, section 100A, clause G. They have given. No, don't go to private yes, members. Will. No, 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 no. Sir, the Pollavaram project no, no, cannot no, no. be taken forward. You can speak at that time. Odisha. Okay, sir, I'll finish. Yeah. Sir, Adani Uma Bharti ji ne kuch din pehle sansad mein kaha tha ki Odisha se pyar karne ke liye Odisha mein paida hone ki zarurat nahi hai. Ah, ठीक है, भाई ठीक है. ये भारत में पैदा होना ही काफी है, sir. Sir, all right, all right, all right. Odisha se bahut pyar karti hai. No, 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 no. वो Odisha की बहुत चिंता करती है. That's enough. वो Odisha के साथ बिल्कुल अन्याय नहीं होने देगी. That's enough. Odisha जगन्नाथ जी का होते हैं. Odisha जगत के नाम का होते हैं. Now, sit down. I demand this government. I urge this government to kindly honor Odisha. If they are trying now, to sit down, the please. Place, we have not done any mistake. We request you, it is our demand. We are not begging, we are not uh, seeking your mercy. It is our demand. Please fulfill it. Ani Pavadi, I will Thank also you so support much. your demand. You Thank, you so much, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> because I support your demand. I support a very good sir, demand. Sir, sir, sir. Uh, even if you, would, you wouldn't have said this, I would have said you, I love you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, now let me...